Indian Lakes Road Fallon facility is a privately owned facility for holding and care of overflow animals that Palomino Valley facility does not have the capacity for. It's one of a number of facilities where we care for wild horses and burros removed from the range. This is a new facility. This facility sits on about 160 acres. Um, it has the capacity for about 3,000 animals. Um, we have 30 large holding pens. The size is 70,000 square feet. Each pen is 70,000 square feet. Um, 100 animals can fit in each pen. So of the 30 pens, you know, we can put up to 3,000 animals if we need to in this facility. Once the horses are brought in from the range, they're unloaded off the trucks. And for the most part, they're already separated by the different sex classes. So then we just put them on feed and water um, and rest. All our facilities provide proper feed, water, and medical care. The feed that we put them on is a uh, low carbohydrate, low protein feed, similar to what they're used to on the range. Um, and then we slowly transition them into a more of a domestic, a domesticated feed. Um, this is a slow process. Um, you can't speed it up too fast or you have uh, health issues related to that. We have to perform preparation of these animals because these animals are government property. Our facilities are built to put minimal pressure on these, on these animals and also to withstand um, these animals when we, when we work a lot of these animals through our chute system. The tub uh, where we hold the larger group of animals um, is round. There's no sharp corners in it and there's no sharp objects pr projecting out. The horses are brought up from a large holding pen and they're conveyed through an alley system into the tub and, and chute area. Once they're in the tub and chute area, then they come single file through an alley into the squeeze chute. So we open the door of the squeeze chute, the individual animal comes in, the doors close behind it, and then uh, the horse is squeezed up snugly but not overly tight. Then we administer vaccinations. The vaccinations are very important for disease prevention in these facilities. When these horses come in from the range unvaccinated, they're, they're naive to domestic um, horse diseases. So we give them vaccines in order for prevention for that. And then age determination is done by the veterinarian. We have some special metal sticks um, that we uh, put in the horse's mouth so we can see the teeth. And then depending on tooth shape, um, angle, um, eruption determines uh, the age of the animal. Well, uh, th this horse got set. 15. And then after that, deworming medication is administered orally to the animal. Once those steps are done, then uh, we shave the neck, the hair on the neck, down to skin level. This is where we're going to apply the freeze brand. On an adult horse, we leave the freeze mark on there, or the freeze iron on there, for approximately 30 seconds. What that does is it uh, alters the hair follicles in the neck, and in about six to eight weeks, that hair grows back white in color. And um, the color of, or the white areas on there resemble the freeze mark. After that process is done, uh, we draw blood uh, for EIA testing. It's called the Coggins test. It's a state mandated test, uh, blood test um, for interstate transportation. Then we hang a, a neck tag around the animal's neck. This is a, a numeric four digit um, number that each animal gets. It's part of their, their freeze brand, their freeze identification. Then we record all the information into our database, um, the freeze mark of the animal, the color, their color markings, and then we can track these animals individually um, through adoption and titling. One month later, they're brought back in for another set of, uh, of booster vaccinations so they get um, the acquired immunity that they need. After that's completed, then these horses are available for the adoption program that we have.